This is the most powerful Jeep Wrangler ever built. This is the Wrangler 392. Finally, Jeep, I've listened to their fans and put the famous V8 under the hood. So today I'm gonna go on the road and test the acceleration with the 392. Also, we'll see if we can handle some curves. We're also gonna do some off-roading. I'm gonna go in depth to see what exactly is the 392 edition. Welcome to the Torque Media channel. Under the hood, it's pretty tight. It's the V8 6.4 liter Hemi. The same engine you can find under the hood of any SRTs from Dodge. So this is good for 470 horsepower and 470 foot-pounds of torque. This engine is matched to an eight-speed transmission. So this is the biggest and most powerful engine put under the hood of a Wrangler. We've got also a spatial hood with a Ram Air. It's gonna feed some air to that big engine. So it's called the Hydro Guide. So it's making sure it's gonna separate the water from the hair so there's no water getting into your intake while doing some off-roading. So I'm gonna go on the road and see how it is to drive a Wrangler with 470 horsepower. On the road with the Jeep Wrangler 392 this week. Uh, you know, it's a beast on the road. A lot of power for a Jeep Wrangler. Uh, it's borderline a little bit too much for this type of full truck. Obviously, we've got plenty of horsepower under the hood. Uh, it's really powerful. It's really loud. Also, you've got an active exhaust with the press of a button. Uh, you can switch it off or switch it on. And when it, it's on, it's pretty loud, especially inside of a Jeep, you know. But otherwise, you know, it's a lot of fun to drive, but kind of dangerous from my point of view. Uh, this Jeep, you know, it's pretty high off the ground. That's a lot of power. Uh, you know, some things I noticed inside of this Jeep, we've got a full-time uh, four-wheel drive auto, so you're not able to put it in two-wheel drive. Uh, that's a good thing, you know. Uh, it would be way too much power for a rear-wheel drive uh, Jeep Wrangler. That would be too dangerous. That's probably why they put uh, this system inside of this Jeep. But otherwise, you know, performance-wise, Today it's snowing, uh, <laughs> we're expecting uh, probably uh, up to a feet of snow here in Quebec, Canada. So I'm not testing the acceleration, but I've been testing the acceleration earlier this week in some, you know, decent condition. Uh, you can do the zero to 100 kilometers, not all four second flat. Uh, maybe zero to 60 under four second, you know, if you're in the right condition. This is super quick for a Wrangler. You don't need more horsepower than that. You can also do the quarter mile in 12.9 seconds. So pretty decent on that side but you know this cheap Wrangler it's really in that you know uh, funky dangerous car kind of segment from my point of view uh, th this is like a Viper or a Cobra ICR you know tiny kind of car but big engine inside uh, short wheelbase. If we're looking at the exterior of this Jeep, uh, it's basically a Rubicon with a bigger engine. We've got some unique touch uh, for the 392 gold touches because this is the gold standard for the Jeep Wrangler. So uh, we've got some uh, gold tow hooks. Uh, we've got the quad exhaust in the back. Uh, we've got some logos on the hood. We've got that hood I already talked about with the Ram Air. It's gonna separate the hair from the water and all that. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, this one's got the Extreme Recon package, so it came uh, with the 35 inches tire, special wheel with bead lock capable. Uh, we've got the Fox suspension also, and uh, we've got the, the rear differential, it's a 456. Uh, uh, so, th so that's a pretty high gear for <laughs> for a rear differential gear. This is really an off-road gear or a dragster gear from my point of view. Uh, so that's pretty basically what makes uh, this Jeep 92 the ultimate Jeep Wrangler. Interior-wise, it's basically the same interior as any other Rubicon. Uh, probably the only exception is the embroidery on the seats. So you can see the uh, Rubicon 392 on the seats. Uh, we've got the switch for the exhaust. And otherwise, you know, uh, we've got uh, the uh, switch to lock the rear and front differential, disconnect the sway bar, typical Rubicon stuff right there. And also you've got the off-road plus button. So once you press on the off-road plus button, you've got access to 
uh, the off-road performance pages on your screen. Obviously, this is an off-road machine. It's really made to do some hardcore off-roading with these tires, uh, with this setup and all that. Uh, I think this is really a Jeep built for the Jeep fans, you know. Uh, from my point of view, I'm not a big fan of this setup of suspension, the wheels, and, and the, the, the tires and all that. Uh, I would rather have some kind of like a, a setup similar probably to the Mojave setup, more like a high-speed off-roader to match this engine. I completely understand that Jeep fans love the Rubicon and all that, but just to drive on a daily basis and have a little bit more fun at higher speed and having a little bit more handling, I think it will be better having a setup like the Mojave or maybe the Bronco Raptor. On the towing side, it's not because you've got a more powerful engine, you can tow more, it's still the 3,500 pounds. On the fuel economy side, uh, you know, We've got big tires, a uh, big uh, ratio of differential in the back, uh, a full-time uh, four-wheel drive system. Obviously, the fuel economy is terrible. Uh, I'm doing about 20 liters per 100 kilometers. I didn't have any expectation there, but probably the worst fuel economy of any cars and trucks I've been testing in 2022. If we're looking at the price, the Jeep Wrangler 392 starts $109,640. And the model I'm driving this week, it's good for $120,000. This is super expensive for a Jeep, from my point of view. Uh, if you want to keep it and make it like a, a collector, you know, and you, you store it and you're a big fan of Jeep, yes, that could be a good buy for you. But otherwise, you know, if I'm looking at any other, you know, Hellcat models I've been driving with the same price, Durango Hellcat, TRX, Challenger Red Eye, all of them are a better buy than this from my point of view. And of course, I'm not a big fan of Jeep, you know, just driving a Jeep on a daily basis. I found it kind of rough, especially for that price. It's not because you're paying $120,000, you get more comfort or uh, you get it's more quiet in the cabin. You've got basically, it's, it's from my point of view, this Jeep, a nice piece for the fan and all that but it feels like you're behind the wheel of a jeep with a swap engine you know of course this is better than a swap engine but it it just feel that engine doesn't really belong there it's just those kind of funky fun cars you know it's not the best it's got a bunch of flaws but it's just awesome so let me know in the comments what you think about this jeep wrangler 392 is it worth it for the price let me know in the comments don't forget to subscribe like and share and we're gonna see each other on our next review